What's up, frickers? Welcome to episode one of Joshua. Just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm 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 really doing this. Uh, I'm gonna be playing <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club, and this 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 is gonna suck. So ugh, I'm kind of scared. How the frick does this work? Enable content warnings, holy crap, bro, okay. Nah, frick that. I'm going blind, so if there's any scares that I don't remember, uh, then, yeah. But as they already know what happens in this game, I'm just gonna start up a brand new slot in the save file. No, okay. I'm getting a little too excited about this, so I'm just gonna... Oh, my name! I have to give myself a name. Okay. Uh... Uh, what, what's my name? I think that's my name. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Hey! It's me, Usopp! Just kidding. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention. You might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah! Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Ah, <sighs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. My name. I'm, um, dude. This is gonna be weird saying my name. I don't. I don't. I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, if people study for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Frick. Uh, fine, fine. Dude, my freaking delivery is like so not like how the game's supposed to like be. This is frick. You get away from me after all. <laughs> I guess you don't have it <laughs> to be mean even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Alex, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Huh? That's not true! Tell me you joined a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average, <laughs> the average of spending my free time on games and anime. I, I could not help but laugh at that. Uh huh? I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize her. Have any skills before co Holy frick, that hit close to home. Frick you, Sayori. Frick you. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll get a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little harder? Or er, a, a little. Oops, I, fr I fricked up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself be lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised that I'll even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me <laughs> makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Time skip? Okay. <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I, I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, 
you know what? Well, then you can come into my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Ah! Me, me. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be a fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be you plus. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let it out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section, a frick me, a section of the school I barely, I, I can't speak, I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me new member. Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Alex, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All work to escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She's also the one who, who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Alex. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Yeah, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Alex. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I get a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ah! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and the pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first, and then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! So he already talks with her mouth full, and... Has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh right, wait, no. Should I have done it like I just got a or or something like that? I don't freaking know. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. And Suki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Me? 
need them for you or anything. Huh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe, but not for you. Y you know you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the, t the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh... uh I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Her family smiles to herself in relief. Monica races on her brow, smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well... I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all, all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather talk, uh, take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Alex, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've heard these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pricks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Said, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Lol, psychological. Okay. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Dude, Dan Salvato writing this stuff, dude. He he's a freak. Oh, gosh dang. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I read a horror book once. <laughs> yeah, me, who has like 40 freaking Stephen King books <laughs> in, in, in the room that I'm playing this game in. Oh, oh. Desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often 
very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Mitsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! And give that back! Fine, fine. Yeah, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'M NOT CUTE! Natsuki, you wrote your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems! We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Suki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, uh, um. Mm. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Alex? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori must have <laughs> Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, <laughs> Alex, you, you all, I, <laughs> I'm defenseless against these girls, how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's, <laughs> when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came here for the cupcakes, I would be super peed off. <laughs> and that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Alex, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey Alex, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays, or stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Atsuki, Yuri... And of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. 
<laughs> yes, I freaking love this music. Bing, no, okay, alright. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good will ha might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Bro, where's Monica at? Why, why can't I pick her? Uh, let's see. Death! Death! <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to pick, but apparently there's 20 words. And let's see. I like bouncy. Frick! I didn't want to choose it! Okay. Um. Ooh, contamination. Holy frick. Nibble. Uh, puppy. Crap! No, okay. I don't think I want to do Natsuki route, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Email. What? Okay, alright. Uh, fun? Alright, yeah, I figured that would be, uh, Sayori. Doki Doki, whatever. Uh, uh, infallible. Massacre! Yeah, okay, uh, the Texas Chainsaw, Oh crap, it's, it's like a tie between, uh, pink and purple here. Don't know who I'm gonna pick, though. Uh, as of now, at least. Ribbon Road. Mm. I'll go with Bunny. Frickin' Vertigo. Bliss. Ooh. Melancholy. Mm. It's despise. Socks. <laughs> Boop. Lol. Uh, giggle. Uh, okay, five more. Let's let's, let's do this. Uh, silly. Uh, cute. Oh, frick me. Okay. Ra oh, I like Ralph. Let's see. The trophy here in Doki Doki Poetry Slam. Okay, sweet. Whatever. Uh, bubbles. Frick, it's gonna be Natsuki route, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! No, okay. Uh, the, the anime. Yeah, we're doing Natsuki route. Let's see. Loud! Okay, no, that was Sayori. Okay. Frick. Yeah. Hi again, Alex. Well, bruh. Uh. So I did the poem. I think that's. I think this is where I'm gonna, you know, stop for now, so. If you enjoyed the first episode of Joseph, no, I'm kidding. Uh, what the frick? You know, I don't like. I, I, I really don't do intros or outros, so I have like, I have like no idea what to say for these. But I'm basically done for now. I just wanted to like get into the game and upload at least one like video that wouldn't be too long. Um, so I did the poem. So we good on that. And now, uh, I don't know how to save, so I'm just gonna, you know, end it here. How, how to save in the game, how to, how to do, how to, how to save. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end it.